Hey Pirates, uh, a lot more people now got the Dreadnought Breacher so I decided to put a video out uh, suggesting a build for Dreadnought Breachers using the Arbalest Cannon. I'm not going to cover the Scattergun here as the Arbalest build is the most popular and the easiest to use. So to get started, of course we have six weapon slots and let's just pick the right cannon for that. The Arbalest 2, which fires through walls and you can actually fire at one object and hit the object behind it. It's called piercing, making it a very versatile weapon. The other thing to keep in mind about the Breacher is the special ability it has, where once the Breacher stops moving for a, f a moment, it gains accuracy, it gains reload. So that means if you stop for a bit, you can kill gates, you can kill defenders a lot faster. So use that to your advantage. The downside of this build is that being cannons and they don't have any underwater damage, they cannot do any damage to lurkers. For that, you need to somehow surface the lurker first or just ignore and try to drive by it, which can be a challenge against well-built lurkers. Okay, so we have the weapon now. Let's look at specials. The very basic, first basic special we need is something for speed, so I'm going to go and start with speed system 6. The second obvious choice for building damage and some added defense is siege battery 4. And then Finally, we need something for ballistic range. We need a special for extra ballistic range. There are more than one choice. The natural one, the easy one, is to use augmented ballistic armament. This one gives you ballistic accuracy range. The splash statistic is useless for the breacher, but it's there anyway. So let's put this one. The other choices you would have uh, are Canon System 5. Or you can try some nuclear accelerator, but I, I personally like cannon system or augmented ballistic armament. And this one, by the way, is the lightest one. So I think still the best choice you can have. Now, you can try and build specialized uh, functions, specialized variations of the breacher. But if you're going with the basics, the next thing you should have now is Hyper 30. This one will give you uh, splash damage reduction, evade and combat speed. So it's a good thing to have. And the other special is Shielded Circuitry. This one is important especially because of the slow and stun resistances. Uh, often when attacking a base you're gonna hit at defenders that have that EMP tactical which is gonna stun you for a long time if you don't have stun resistance and there are plenty of weapons and fields and stuff to slow you down so it's, it's a good call so finally now you need something for damage there are two choices here again you can go with either the newest special for that function the ballistic calibrator it's been around for a few months it gives you 70 percent ballistic damage and even more accuracy and projectile speed. So that's one choice. The other choice you have will give you a little bit less ballistic damage, but will give you building damage, which is the good old high velocity rounds HVR. You lose 15% on the damage against ships, but you gain extra 80% building damage. So this is another variation. And, and there you go. I mean, this is what I would call a basic uh, set up for specials. You could give up on Shielded Circuitry or Hyper 30 and actually uh, pick something like Ballistic Scope for extra range. But then you're going to be giving up damage or, you know, th th there are so many variations. I just want to give people something that's relatively decent and won't let them down when they try to attack bases. For the armor, uh, the easy choices are to pick the level 3 of each 
one of the newest plates, so MC3. Then the next one is XR3 for radioactive and explosive. And then finally CTCO3. The last two, I'll leave it up to you. Um, for instance, you could go, if you wanted, you could pick the these armors, uh, the TA or STSL. They'll give you a lot of extra armor, but no deflection. But this one, for instance, would give you stun resistance and slow resistance. So let's say you put this one in. Now you could change that special for ballistic scope. So th that's what I would recommend. I mean, if you put ballistic scope, then put this armor in to give you some stun resistance, right? Or you could just go for higher deflection. I mean, see where you're weak. Uh, if it's ballistic, if you're going to go up against ballistic and corrosive dreads, for instance, then you could go and get CTCO2 and MC2 and just be done with it. Okay, so for instance, this is a decent setup. Okay, uh, it's not a specialized setup. It doesn't have the extra range. Uh, it doesn't have extra speed or a lot of other different tricks that people are using to get in crafty, hard bases. But this is decent. This will work against many bases. Uh, my only thing here would be you can give up on one of these two for the extra range. All right. So I hope that's helpful, Pirates. It's a 14-day build. The armors take a very long time. But uh, if you got some and you want to build some, have fun with them. Take care. See you next time.